I am the Cardiff Hammer Dryad, a forest sprite, and I love this place. It has so many exotic and ancient trees. Here, I have dwelt for many years, my roots delving deeply and my history becoming intertwined with your own and with the life of the man buried here, Dr. Henry James Payne. Dr. Payne, or Dr. Henry, as I always know him, became the first medical officer for health in Cardiff in 1853. At that time, lots of you poor humans died from cholera, typhus and countless other unpleasant infectious diseases. Yuck! The stinking slums were not where I would have chosen to linger, but I suppose the poor souls that lived there had no choice. So, Dr. Henry made it his business to improve their lives with new sewers, water supply and public baths. I first knew of Dr. Henry when he arranged for the old ship that I occupied to be moved here to Cardiff. It was named after me, the Hammer Dryad, and I slumbered in its warm, dry timbers and in the prow's figurehead. It's in Cardiff Museum now. You may have seen it. The ship was built as a warship, but never fired a shot in anger, for which I am grateful. So Dr. Henry had the idea to make it into a hospital ship for sick sailors. Not everyone was keen, but he was passionate about it. And eventually one of the newspapers got behind him, claiming those old sailors will have a better chance of recovering from their afflictions in this hollow oak than in any hospital ward. Ah, the noble oak with the Union Jack flying over their heads. Hmm. We dryads don't give much thought to wars and flags. And to be honest, I think some of those sailors might have been happier on dry land after such a long time at sea. I looked forward to coming to a new birth. My delight is in woods and flowers, not the cold rolling sea. My ship was moored on a river and a place called Rat Island. Not a very encouraging name, I admit. It was more of a muddy bank, really. But there's a park there now, though, and it's much nicer. And, of course, named after me. And for decades afterward, seamen from all over the world, seamen, no women were allowed, were treated on the ship and all for free. Poor Dr. Henry, for all his good work, he couldn't save his own children and outlived all of them. My poor ship was getting old too and was eventually taken away and broken up. But in 1905, the Hammer Dryad Hospital opened, this time as a permanent building. What remains of it is still used today as a clinic and my name lives on in a new school nearby. So, thanks to Dr. Henry, I have a little bit of immortality assured in Cardiff. Look out for me as I stand on the shore, gazing over the bay, remembering the good old days at sea. Catch me wandering here in the cemetery under the spreading leaves of the old oaks, close to his last resting place. <laughs>